Hey, it's Shane Kilby with Brick Driven Realty. Today I'm going to answer the question of how can I, or how can you rather, uh, achieve a near perfect work life balance in this crazy business called real estate? Stay tuned. Everyone wants to achieve a good work life balance. Sometimes that's easier said than done. So today I'm going to take a few minutes to share some tips with you guys that has helped me to achieve my work-life balance in real estate. So work-life balance became an issue for me when I realized that as my business progressed and my workload and, and my pipeline increased that I found myself uh, being stretched uh, longer days, longer evenings, longer weeks. And what I noticed was my business was picking up, the opportunities were abundant, uh, and my family was blessed with these opportunities. However, uh, the, the double-edged sword to that was I was having to spend less and less time with my wife, with my kids, and that they are, and they're very sacred to me, right? At the end of the day, why are we doing what we do if we're not having the opportunity to enjoy those that support us along this journey? So this is where you know scheduling and, and, a, and, a, and a time blocking method come into play. For example, I use a I use a, a, a planner, I'm, uh, not a calendar. I mean, yeah, I, back up. I do use a calendar. I use Google calendars, a personal Google calendar, and a work Google calendar, um, so that I can separate the events uh, from personal to professional. Um, however, I use a written planner and I've tried the digital apps and you know, I'm a, I'm a techie guy so I like everything in the cloud, right? But there's just another, there's just a, 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 a certain value that you get from writing down the week, beginning on Sunday, it, with intention and purpose, what your focus is to accomplish for that week, um, it sticks. So I use that planner, uh, it's called a 12 week year, right? So basically we'll, it's a story for a different day, um, but it allows me to break out 12 months worth of planning all the way out to a week or a day uh, and break that down into four different 12 week years, basically four three month quarters. All right, and so one of those things that's critically important is um, I have date day, right, um, for every, uh, member of the family. Okay, so um, it's like clockwork. It's set as a time block in my Google cal Calendar for work, Google Calendar for personal, and documented in my planner. Every Tuesday, that is uh, in the afternoon. That is my youngest daughter's date day. Uh, the youngest, she gets you know first of the week, first choice, as she gets more fatigued in the week. Um, uh, so Tuesdays are date days for my youngest and myself it's just you and i we spend some time in the afternoon after school just 101 uh, staying connected staying grounded on um, wednesdays uh, it's date day for myself and uh, our oldest daughter uh, she's in high school and uh, so we uh, we spend some time bonding and just doing some things that she enjoys on wednesday afternoons and on thursdays it's uh, it's getting toward the end of the week so it's date day for mom uh, and we, uh, we try religiously, and, and I say we try, I mean, in a perfect world, um, typically three out of four weeks in a four week month, um, we will have a sitter uh, on Thursday evenings, usually about six o'clock, you know, so sometimes, sometimes we go spend time working together. My, my wife is, uh, is in the lending industry, so sometimes we, we actually do work and share obstacles and stuff like that, but we both enjoy that time. Either way, that's our time with one another. We may be out for dinner, you know, a uh, movie or long walks or, or just, just, just time with ourselves. But these are time blocked every week, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like clockwork. Now, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of professionals would say, well, that's, that's three days, man. How, how, do you, how are you able to take out of your, your schedule for three days like that? And, and, it, and it's not easy at first, but here's the, here's the trick. Here's the tip. Use the planner, right? Use the calendars, prioritize these events and these, these specific people and purposes in your life. Next week, it may not be possible. Your, your, your following week may be chaos. 
The next week after that may be chaos. But a few weeks down the line on those planners and on those calendars, you can begin to specifically set aside those time blocks for not just the people in your life, but also your hobbies, your interests. You have to carve out that time for you to decompress and refocus, recharge, recalibrate, and go back to um, go back to work. You know, grinding, hitting home runs. So that is that is my tip and trick, um, you know, or my suggestion uh, on how to uh, start putting things into a plan, a structure, a framework that keeps you on track every week. It's just like a birthday or Christmas. These holidays are, are prioritized and they're set on calendars, you know, in their annual events, so they always take place. You do the same thing on your time blocks and your planner and on your calendars, and you'll, and you'll see, just like I have, that it's gonna be a blessing in disguise. Okay, so let's talk about, so, so we just talked about, you know, using a planner, using calendars, you know, having strategic time blocks, but that can create stress, right? So yeah, I mean, that, you know, Think about this. If you've got it documented, prioritized, categorized, and on those calendars and in that planner, and you purposefully dedicated that time and made those discipline commitments to those time blocks, you may have to get up earlier. In my situation, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like I know what Tuesday afternoon is going to be. I know what Wednesday afternoon is going to be. I know what Thursday afternoon is going to be. So I already know going in that that Monday evening, you know, I have to I have to get some good rest because Tuesday I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to rise and shine. I'm gonna have to cram as much as I can into Monday. So I'm gonna start early on Monday. Uh, I'm gonna try not to work too late on Monday. I'm trying to get some good rest, but I'm gonna start early, early as I possibly can on Tuesday so I can get as much knocked out before it's date day with the youngest. Same thing goes for Wednesday. I'm going to get in that right frame of mind. I'm going to, I'm going to grind as much as I can uh, Tuesday before it's time for me to spend time with my, my youngest child, my youngest daughter. And so Wednesday, I'm going to wash and repeat. I'm going to come. I'm going to get that right mindset. I'm coming in early. I'm going to get the early start, and, and I'm going to hustle hard till it's time to to shut it down and spend time with my oldest daughter. Uh, Thursday is the same thing. It's, it's I'm excited. We're headed into the weekend, uh, the busiest time of the week for a real estate professional. But also know it's it's mommy and daddy time, and so we're we're gonna get we're gonna I'm gonna get super early, uh, and and super motivated, super driven. I'm gonna get as much accomplished as I possibly can. But when when it comes down to that time block, it, we're gonna have a great time because. And I also know, and and my wife knows that you know the next few days may be chaos through the weekend. She knows this business, right? She's in lending. She knows how the offers and contracts and stuff come in uh, from the agents over the weekend, right? She works in that that atmosphere as well but she knows we've been able to connect before that weekend got started with all of the uh, real estate opportunity lending opportunities are that are so abundant so that net, that second tip is all about the mindset be, be mentally aware and be focused and be committed to 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 getting up early uh, and, and and staying focused and, and and doing your very best to stay undistracted so that you have the time for those time blocks so that you can be purposeful and focused in those time blocks. All right, and my last, uh, my last tip for you guys on, uh, on, on you know, creating that work-life balance. We talked about planning and prioritizing that schedule, time blocking that schedule. Uh, we also talked about the frame of mind, the mindset, the positive you know, focus and the discipline commitment to, to start early and, and do whatever it takes um, this last, the last tip, this last uh, suggestion I would like to make to you guys that has helped me tremendously is be purposeful, right? Be 100% into your work or 100% into your, to your time blocks. And, you know, if those time blocks are with, you know, you may have two, two of those days a week. You may have one child. Uh, and have a date day with that child and, and have one day for mom. Um, but I encourage you to, 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 if that's the case, to take that third day, right? Find that time block for yourself and be purposeful. Be committed, be disciplined that whatever you're doing in either time block, that you're doing it at 110%. We're always gonna have those curveballs that come out of left field. 
We can't control all those, but what we can control is the mindset and focus and the planning and the calendar schedule and the prioritization of those days and times. And so when we're in the work zone, when we're in that work block, get after it, stay focused. What you focus on expands and so will your opportunities. Do the same thing when it's time for those time blocks for yourself um, or for your spouse or for your children or for your significant other or whatever you're putting in those time blocks. Turn the phone off, turn the dings and the distractions away, turn the emails off, shut it all off. Every smartphone today has the focus feature. Turn the focus on and stay purposeful and committed in that moment. Give that 30 days and, and I'll assure you that you'll be glad you did. Okay, if you guys have any questions about, you know, developing that plan, that, that planner, that framework, that schedule, that prioritization, uh, you know, around work, life balance, or have any other questions about real estate, uh, or real estate knowledge, real estate skill set, or how to take your real estate business to the next level, feel free to contact myself at the information below. This is Shane Kilbel with Brick Driven Realty, and I just want to thank you for taking the opportunity to watch my video today. Thanks so much and have a blessed week.